I'm going to show you how to add your current class supply list to your building's class supply list so that parents can get you all kinds of goodies. So the first thing you'll do is you'll have two files shared from your administrator. You'll have the one that the parents will see that will list everybody in the building by grade level. And then you will have a template. Now this happens to be Richland's for 2023. So you'll have the one that the parents see and then your own one that you'll make a copy off of. Now you can also do your own template, I'm sure, but if you just wanna take one that's already made that's real easy to do, this will be all set. So the first thing you'll need to do is have these two files. You'll go to the template for the class list. So this, it says Buckmasters on it, and this is the template. Go over to File, go down to Make a Copy, and you'll name it your last name. And I'm going to take example off. So Badner Supply List for 2024. Actually, it is 2023 for next year, sorry. And then I'm just going to hit Make a Copy. Give it a second. And while that's doing it, you can close out that template one. So you don't need it anymore because now you're going to have your own. So now here's mine. I'm going to go ahead and change. And then I'm going to edit this all I want. Um, winning lotto, whoops, ticket. Um, and of course, I want every parent to bring me in $1 million. So anyhow, you can add your things that you need. Um, so what the students need to bring, what the class needs, and you can edit this all you want. Now, I would recommend trying to keep this to one page. So maybe you'll even have to shrink down some of the font size. We'll do whatever you need to do. You can customize this however you want. Don't forget to make sure it's the right name, though. So you make your list, you add your items, everything's all set. You don't have to fit it on one page if you have a lot of items, but if you do fit it on one page, it's easier for parents to print and go to the store with it. So that's entirely up to you. So now I've made my list. The important part is what we all seem to forget. We think we're done. Remember to share this so anyone with the link. So you have to click on the share button in the top right, and then make sure go down here where it says restricted, and make that anyone with the link, not just Gull Lake because your parents don't have Gull Lake accounts, anyone with the link. And then you're all set there, just go to where it says copy link, just click that. So your link is copied, anyone who has the link can view it. So just almost like conferences, the only difference with conferences, they can edit, you don't want them editing it. So that's perfect. I can just click off, that goes away. I actually don't even need this anymore. I can go ahead and close that out. And then you can update that throughout the year if you need to, because remember, it's a live document. Parents will always have the link to it. So that's what's nice about this is once you send out a class list, you can never update it. This way, you can always keep updating it and keep it, you add new items, take things away you don't need. Then you'll go back to your building list, find your name. I'm going to highlight my name. I'm going to go up to the link icon right up here. I'm going to click on link and just paste that link that I just created right in there and hit apply. It'll turn blue and that means it's all done. So when a parent goes to this list, they just click right on that name, say find your name, oh, I need to help something, I want something in Mr. Banner's class, I click on it, click the link, and there is my list, which like I said, at any time you are able to update and change. So real easy way to get everybody's lists in the same place so parents can even donate to other classrooms if they want. It's visible for everyone. Real easy way, great way to collect class lists so people can help each other uh, get the items they need for the classroom.